You mentioned a couple of times in some of your other responses about on-chain, off-chain, and we were just talking about the Web3 ID and that integration. There's been a lot going on in the last few months with respect to cryptocurrency, the implosion of FTX. There's a lot of fear and uncertainty and doubt about crypto in general. What's your outlook on how these, they're not all the same thing. You know, blockchain is, is not necessarily cryptocurrency, is not Web3, they're all separate. But what, what is your outlook on the next year in terms of those technologies? And do you get into those sorts of conversations with potential clients? I think, yeah, I think it's almost the, the years in uh, like Web3 or crypto that are the most volatile, downwardly volatile, where a lot of people leave the space in 2022. So the so-called crypto winters, and it's kind of cyclical. It happens, I think it speeds up, but it probably happens every couple of years, but maybe it's sped up a little bit. But I think in those years, what happens is a lot of the speculators and kind of people that are vaguely interested leave the space because the financial incentive and the quick wins as they would see it are gone. And what you're often left with is the people that are passionate and committed and thinking about this technology long term. They're the ones that remain. So what you often see as a result of that, Steve, is, in my opinion at least, it's the best time you see the most innovation because it's the companies that are able to hang around, keep building and keep thinking long term that they deliver their solutions. So I think it's ultimately a good thing, but it's a painful thing at the same time. But I think what it, what it gives out is the greatest innovation. And then the market will, will go back in its cycle again. So I think fundamentally 22 has probably been one of those years, a difficult year financially for many, but a very productive year and, and really does focus the mind on what's important.